For a Black History Month artwork, I would like for you to use the topic of African American inventors and their inventions. This presentation is going to show many important African American inventors and their inventions. I would like for you to choose one of these inventors to inspire your artwork. Elijah McCoy was an inventor who invented an oil dripping cup, which was an automatic lubricator for steam engines. This would have been used on steamboats and on trains to keep the parts of the engine, like the cylinders, and also some of the parts that move the wheels, lubricated with oil so that the friction didn't cause those pieces to break. His invention, this automatic lubricator, really helped trains and boats, those steam engines, to go travel much, much further before they needed to stop for maintenance for, for the, the oil to lubricate those moving parts. Louis Latimer invented a process for the carbon filament in light bulbs. He worked closely with Thomas Edison and Thomas Edison's rival to develop the first light bulbs. Without Lewis Latimer's invention of the carbon filament, the part that actually lights up in those first light bulbs, it might have taken quite a lot longer and not been as uh, it worked as well to create electric lights. Jan Ernst cre uh, Metzlinger created a shoemaking machine. The shoemaking machine allowed for shoes to be, cre to be uh, put together very quickly. Before the shoemaking machine, and here's what it looks like, before the shoemaking machine, shoes had to be all made, all the pieces made by hand and sewn together. But the machine, again, made shoes uh, able to be made much, much faster. George Washington Carver is a scientist, a botanist, who, studies, who studied plants. Um, he's a scientist that we've probably heard of before, and we usually hear about George Washington Carver in relationship with peanuts and peanut butter. But he did experiments on thousands of plants. He was also a painter. Here are two pictures of George Washington Carver in his studio. So he didn't just work in the laboratory, he was also an artist. George Washington Carver did do a lot of research and, and a lot of experiments with peanuts, but also, again, hundreds of other plant products. The peanut is a plant that I think is pretty interesting because the nuts actually grow underground. Here's the soil, the leaves and the stems are above ground, and then what the part of the plant that we eat are underground, similar to carrots and potatoes. C.J. Walker was the first African-American mil self-made millionaire who was a woman. So she made all of her own money from scratch, and what she created were cosmetic products for African-American women, makeup and hair care products. This wonderful hair grower was one of the products that she, she invented. She also had a, a uh, laboratory, factory, and a school to train other women to go out and teach about her products and sell the products. So making cosmetics or makeup and also hair care products made C.J. Walker quite a lot of money. Garrett Morgan was an inventor who created what was called a smoke hood and also the traffic signal. The smoke hood was something that came before gas masks, and it actually helped, uh, was used to help rescue people who were in a uh, mining accident. People were trapped inside of a mine in, in Ohio in 1913, and the, the smoke hoods were able, uh, allowed the, the rescuers to breathe and, and rescue people. The traffic signal that Garrett Morgan created looks different than our traffic lights today, 
But during this time, in the early 1920s, there were cars, horses, and people all on the same streets. And there were a lot of accidents. And Garrett Morgan noticed that, that there needed to be a signal to tell people when to stop. And what he did that was different than any other traffic signals was also to include the warning symbol that the, the, it was, the light would change or the signal would change from stop to go. So that warning signal, what we see today as the yellow light, was really a, an important and uh, safe invention. Here's a picture of that smoke hood. The tube would go down near the ground where there was no smoke and allow the person wearing it to breathe. Dr. Mark Dean worked for IBM, which was a computer company and still is, and he helped to develop a microprocessing chip for computers. These were some of the first home computers. Before this chip was invented, computers were very, very large, and they were only in big companies or at colleges and universities. The microprocessing chip that Dr. Mark Dean worked on allowed for computers to be used in the home. Lonnie Johnson is an inventor who invented toys like the Super Soaker water gun and those Nerf guns. I know my children really enjoy playing with Nerf guns, and Lonnie Johnson invented these toys. He was also a NASA engineer. He worked for NASA on many of the, uh, the, the missions to put satellites and other exploratory uh, robots that went to Mars and Saturn. I hope that you learned some about these inventors and their inventions. I really look forward to seeing the artwork that you make inspired by these important people.